Hello everyone. So, in the last video, we have seen what is combination reaction. In this video, we are going to see what is decomposition reaction. Now, in simple words, you can say that it is breaking of single reactant into simpler products and we call it as decomposition reaction. Now, we are going to see the decomposition reaction in detail by taking examples. But first, going on to the examples, let's first understand what are the three agents which are responsible for the decomposition reaction. The first one is heat, the second is electricity and the third is light. We are going to see the three agents one by one. So the first agent is heat. Now the reaction which takes place with the help of heat are called as thermal decomposition. We are going to see the three examples of thermal decomposition. So the first example is heating of calcium carbonate. Now we have studied about calcium carbonate in the combination reaction also. Now when you heat calcium carbonate, it breaks into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Now this calcium oxide is also called as quicklime. It is used in various industries. Now the second one is heating of iron sulphate. Now when you heat iron sulphate, it turns from light green to colorless due to loss of water. So the reaction which occur is iron sulphate when heated gets converted into iron oxide, sulphur dioxide and sulphur trioxide. So there is evolution of a pungent smelling gas which is due to burning of sulphur. Now let's see what happens when lead nitrate is heated. When lead nitrate is heated, then there is an evolution of an irritating gas with the brown fumes. Now that brown fumes are of nitrogen dioxide. And there is also a deposit of a yellow color residue which is of lead oxide. So you see the reaction is when lead nitrate is heated, we get lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. So we have seen what heat does. Now let's jump on to the electricity. For seeing electricity decomposition, let's perform an activity. For this, we have a plastic mug which we have drilled with two holes at its base and inserted the rubber cork. Now in that rubber cork, we have inserted two carbon electrodes. Now we will fill the mug in a way that these electrodes are immersed with water. Now we have also added few drops of sulfuric acid. Now I have taken two test tubes, we filled with water and inverted them on glass electrodes. Now I will switch on the current and let the setup like this for few minutes. Now you will see that there are bubbles in these test tubes. Now what are these bubbles and how they are formed? Now we know on passing electricity in water, they dissociate into hydrogen ox and oxygen. So these test tubes must be containing hydrogen and oxygen. But how will you test them? Now we can test them by bringing burning matchstick near their mouth. So we will take out the test tubes keeping a thumb on the test tubes mouth so that the gas does not escape. Now when you bring the burning matchstick near the first test tube, you will see that the burning ma matchstick is burning vigorously. So you can say that it has oxygen. On the second test tube, you will see that the match stick extinguishes with a pop sound. So you can confirm that it has the hydrogen gas. Now we also know that the water molecules is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. You have observed that in one test tube, the number of bubbles are more than the other. So this says that the hydrogen atoms are released in twice rate. So you can confer that during the decomposition reaction with every one oxygen atom, two hydrogen atoms are released and hence there are more hydrogen bubbles in one test tube. So we have seen how decomposition reaction takes place in the presence of electricity. Now let's see with the help of third agent how decomposition reaction takes place. So the third agent is light. So Let's see the decomposition due to sunlight with an activity. Now you put silver chloride in sunlight for some time. You will see that the white colored silver chloride has turned gray. This is because the silver chloride has decomposed into silver and chlorine. So the reaction you will see is silver chloride in the presence of sunlight get decomposed into silver and chlorine. The similar reaction takes place with silver bromide. 
So the, you can say the reaction is silver bromide in the presence of sunlight gets decomposed into silver and chlorine. Now silver bromide and silver chloride are used in black and white photography. Now we have seen in decomposition reaction there is always absorption of some sort of energy in the form of heat, electricity or sunlight. So they are endothermic type of reaction. In the next video we are going to see the third type of chemical reaction which is the displacement reaction.